Here's a super quick video to show you how to remove your picture background in Canva. It's super easy to do and I'm going to show you a few ideas on how you can use this for your designs as well. Okay, so now that we are in Canva, you will need to create your account. Now you will need a pro account to be able to remove the background from it. But if you um, go to my description box, you can get a link to try it for free for 30 days. So I will link that down below. Um, but uh, for the pro account, it's not too high of a monthly fee and it does offer you so many options, especially if you want to do this to a more professional level, like for your business, if you have a blog, if you have an Instagram that you want to grow. Um, so I highly recommend the pro version too, which is what I use at the moment. But what you will want to do now is to go to create a design or just choose one of these sizes here. So I'll just choose one random one here. You will then go to uploads here on the left and select your uh, picture that you've uploaded. So here's my picture that I'm going to use for this tutorial. So I'm just going to size it the way that I want to. And then when you want to remove its background, you just click on it, go to effects here and then click on background remover. So again, this tool is only for the pro paid version, but um, it's a really good one. Like I use this so much and there you go. It's just one click. It's super easy to do and the background is completely removed um, and Canva does a really good job at this like it it obviously cuts it out perfectly I couldn't do this manually myself I've tried it before and it's just it goes horribly wrong but if for some reason um, your photo is not cut out perfectly you can erase or restore here some parts of it um, so this is just perfect for me it usually works really well so I will go ahead and click apply and then that's my cut out all done. Now, a few ideas on what you can do with this now that you have um, cut out the background. So for example, one thing you could do is create um, a logo or kind of your profile picture for um, your social media. So you can go to elements, for example, and I usually pick a circle because on most social media platforms, you will have circle, kind of a circle profile image. So I'll just size it the way I want it to be. And then um, you can also select your color from here. So these are kind of my main colors for my brand. Um, and yeah, you can just select your color from here. And then once you are happy with the color it is and kind of the size of it, you can click on the shape, go to position and then send it backward so that your picture is in front of it. And then you can size your picture. And then if you want to, you can crop it so that it obviously is like, it's like a perfect circle, but Yep, this is how you can create a super simple logo like that. And then another thing you can do, let's erase the circle. So you can just click on the background and you can do this a different color. So for example, if you're creating a YouTube thumbnail, and this is what I use for my thumbnails as well a lot. Um, so you can just select the color of your background, for example, and then you can um, make this smaller or larger, depending on what you are going for. You can also add some text. So let's say this is a video about blogging tips, just make this larger. And then what you can do here, because you've got this cut out picture of you, you can select the text and then find the position and send it backward as well. And this will make your um, profile or just the, like maybe the object that you've cut out it will make it appear in front of the text. So that's a really cool effect that you can do, um, especially if you're creating thumbnails or just kind of designs for your blog maybe, um, or for your social media, obviously. And then another thing you can do here, which I like to use is you can go to elements again and I go to dots, or obviously you can use any sort of like element or design that you want to try. And then I will select, for example, these ones, and then put them like this and then make it go backward as well just to kind of make more um, interesting designs for your picture but yeah that's pretty much how you remove your background of a picture in canva i hope you found this helpful do give this a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe for more tips like this and yeah hope you guys are having a good day and i will see you in my next one bye guys